Hi, this is Trey Passer. Welcome to my review of Young Justice Season 3. The first three episodes were released uh, yesterday on the DC streaming service, and I watched it. Um, I was a big fan of Young Justice, uh, especially the first season. I really liked the first season, then they did the time jump and introduced new characters and stuff. And because they kept moving the time around and stuff, and then eventually they canceled uh, Young Justice, which you know a lot of people were disappointed with because I really like that the characters, you know, it's basically this young team that came together sort of as first as like junior members of the Justice League. Okay, they came together to the Battle of the Light, <laughs> this group of supervillains and stuff, <laughs> excuse me, and then they did the time jump in the second season, and then of course it ended, okay, and then because they, they canceled it. So I was eager to see where they, you know, they picked up where they, you know, uh, where they left off with season three. And then this season, uh, at least through the first three episodes, uh, the basic premise of this is is basically uh, metahumans are young are being kidnapped, and basically young kids are being kidnapped all over the world to see and turned into metahumans. You know, of course, against their will, and seeing that they had the metahuman gene. Okay, and so basically, in the beginning of the movie, uh, beginning of the of the uh, three episodes that I saw, uh, Nightwing decides to take a break. Um, you know, to go off, and he needs, he decides that he needs a break, and he leaves uh, the team and goes off, you know, says his goodbyes and goes off. And then we have a meeting with the Justice League, and of course, the, the young team members were basically, uh, they were, you know, after an incident, uh, which includes the character Black Lightning, which I was happy to see him, uh, his character in there. He was, uh, well, he unfortunately had to do something that, that really shook him to the, shook him to his core. And he, you know, he sort of retires from the Justice League, and then they have a big meeting with all the members, where basically Batman and uh, Green, I think Green Arrow and a couple of other members decide, listen, we have all these restrictions placed on us by the UN and by the UN, sec UN Secretary, you know, uh, Lex Luthor, in this universe, and they decide that you know what, it's not, you know, we're going to tender our resignation, and they basically leave. Of course, and members are, of course, angry about that, and. But they go off and they say their goodbyes and certain members leave, okay? And then we find out that uh, uh, that um, Nightwing is actually uh, looking into Markovia as the place where all these metahumans are, uh, humans are being kidnapped and brought to to be tested for the metahuman gene and turn, you know, and turn over to the light, okay? And so he actually goes back and this as Superboy, you know, Superman and Megan who have gotten back together. And he, you know, he asked, you know, can I borrow a suit just for two nights to, like he said, I think he said three nights to, to do this uncover mission and discover this and destroy this, you know, metahuman lab in Markovia, but we have to go undercover, you know, not because, you know, the UN restricts us. We can't go in as ourselves. We have to go undercover. And he agrees to go with him. And of course, but before he goes, he, of course, he proposes to Megan, okay, Megan, and she uh, accept, readily accepts. And, and he gets, of course, uh, I forgot the, uh, the, what her name, the character name, you know, the blonde. With the arrows, I forgot her name, uh, but she, you know, the one was with Wally, and she goes with him, and they also reluctantly bring on, invite Black Lightning, and he reluctantly goes on because his powers are not actually working as well, uh, since he's, you know, the incident that happened with, uh, where he was actually, the yeah, incident that he was shut to the core of it, but he agrees to go on, you know, to go with them, and they go into undercover to Markovia, where they have uh, the prince and, a, and the queen there. And they you know, and the queen's brother is in charge of security, and they make, and they, you know, make an announcement that, that, that we know that uh, there's a, 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 a undercover, you know, ring that's operating out of making metahumans in our country, and we're gonna do everything we can to stop that out, okay? And later that night, the king and queen are murdered, okay? And of course, they, you know, they k kill a metahuman that, you know, supposedly has, you know, that, that did it. And they blame, you know, the metahumans for this, and they decide, you know, the the young, the the queen and the king and queen's oldest son, you know, they they have two sons and a daughter. A daughter earlier in the episode was uh, actually kidnapped. Actually, no, they said that she died. Excuse me, <laughs> and she was, you know, so they, as far as they know, you know, she died because of her condition, her weak heart. But so the king, you know, the king and queen have two sons that are left over, and the oldest son has to be, uh, he's only seventeen, but he can. He's going to be the one that's going to be the new king, and he'll have his uncle, security chief, as his regent until he turns 18. Then he can become the real, you know, the real king of Markovia. And his brother, Brian, I think that's the 
I think Brian is the king, and then I forget what the other brother's name is, but he, he has to, to look into this, and he, you know, he actually wants to explore his metahuman gene to see if, if he can, if he has powers. Okay, and basically, while the young justice members are in there trying to, you know, undercover, trying to track down, you know, where these kids are being kidnapped and run out, and they do their little recon, and basically this move, you know, this, that's the, the gist of the episode, of them trying to go undercover to find out exactly in, Mar where, in Markovia where this is happening, the kids are being kidnapped and converted, you know, see if you have metahuman genes and stuff. And I liked these three episodes. These three episodes were good. They were action-packed, involved, you know, had a lot of motion into it, a lot of things. And I loved the meeting in the beginning of the episodes where, you know, all the Justice League members were at the Justice League satellite and Batman and Green Arrow and them, and they pulled this thing where they quit, you know, because there's too many restrictions on them. So he, they hand in their resignations and they go off and it's a big, it's a nice, good, powerful scene with the, you know, Batman and them, you know, basically, uh, you know, quitting the Justice League because they said there's too many restrictions. So I assume later, probably in later episodes, you're going to see them forming their own team. Okay, that doesn't have to answer to the UN and all that stuff. So, which is will be interesting to watch. And I like Nightwing and, and Superboy. They're still, you know, they go undercover in Markovia to find out exactly where this, you know, who's responsible for this metahuman thing, kidnapping kids and experimenting on them to find out that they have meta, the metahuman genes and stuff. And it's really good. It's action packed. It's emotional and a lot of good things, especially with the uh, sun, the print. I guess the, you know, the. Markovia with the with their sons, who I recognize. I, I'm assuming they're going to be uh, from the Titans because I read the Titans comic book as a kid growing up. They're going to be. Uh, it's, it's going to be Terra as his sister, and I forgot what the, what the brother's power. He had the same similar power. He's in the, in the Outsiders, and they it moved the Earth and stuff. But I think they kind of changed his power a little bit, somewhat. They made it. They changed his power set a little bit. But I enjoyed this a lot, and it uh, it was good and. And see, so you've got political intrigue in it, and you got action, and you got you know these heartwarming moments, especially when uh, Superboy proposed to Megan, which everybody knew from the first season, uh, and they kind of broke up in the second season, but I guess they got back together towards the end of the third season. So in this in this season, they're together, and he proposes marriage to uh, Megan, and which is good to see, and uh, they're gonna be bringing in more new characters, so that'll be interesting to see, and also the, the interesting to see where Batman and Green, Green Arrow and the other members that quit, you know, what their team is going to, and how they're going to come into the story. So I'm looking forward to the way it plays out, and I'm happy that it's as a home and it's come back to the thir third season on, on uh, DC streaming service, and I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I enjoyed it a lot, these first three episodes, and I definitely recommend you check it out and join the DC streaming service for the Titans, and now they got the Young Justice, and then I think uh, Doom Patrol is coming out next month, February, so it's, uh, this is good. So I definitely recommend you watch it first three episodes they release and I'm assuming they, I don't know if they're gonna release them one episode one episode a week or are they gonna release them another three like that. I don't know how many I have to Google it and see how many episodes they're gonna release on Young Justice every week. I know they did it the first week they released three episodes so I don't know if they're gonna do that again next week. Uh, I, I would suggest you Google it because I don't know on my own so I don't want to say say that because I don't know. Anyway uh let me know what you think of Young Justice season three. Uh the first three episodes have you seen them what do you think of them? Uh, feel free to leave comments down below, and if you like this review, please hit the subscribe button down below. I have links to my Facebook, my Twitter, my Instagram in the description box, as well as a link to my other channel called Views and Opinions. Please check that out as well. And this is Trey Fasso saying so long, and take care.